Ravens flock, Ravens nation flock, nation. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good, man? Right? Now, normally, <laughs> this shit taking me back because I started a video like that one time, man. But uh, now, normally, I don't do this, right? Normally, I don't do this. I told you I wasn't going to post like that until after the Super Bowl and whatnot and start getting into the draft thing, right? That's what my focus was on. I told y'all Lamar Stan. Everybody still able. Everybody still talking about the same shit. They're still talking about the same shit. Like, it's, it's so much shit I want to talk about in regards to what's going on uh, uh, landscape-wise. But I just want to touch on this one little weed right here. You feel me? I keep seeing people... And shouts out to my to my subscri subscribers. Shouts out to my bro Abby Assign. Because he was like, yo, bro, you always come in that EDC and John, you don't never get on uh Biscotti. I said, yo, I, what can I say? What can I say about Biscotti? I've been calling them Biscoff cookies, I've been calling them all types of names and shit like that. But I really I never did really go on him other than uh uh when he came out with his comments about the Deshaun Watson contract, which I'm about to get into. So, aside from that, it, it really wasn't much smoke from me on Biscotti. I just wanted to hear from him and what was going on with Roman. That was my biggest issue. Shouts out to my bro Fresh Light because I was just rapping with him the other day. Uh, my main issue with the Ravens was the fact that Greg Roman wasn't fired. I can deal with John. I wanted John going too. Trust me. Like, y'all see the videos. I wanted John going too. But I can deal with John. It, it, it was just a blatant disrespect for, for play calling uh, at his finest from Roman. Not to mention, I kept telling people he was making the most at $9 million at offensive coordinator in the NFL. So, anyway... I'm getting off task. Back to uh, Steve Biscott, Shoddy. If you go back and read his statements, if you go back and get the full interview on what he was saying, they chopped it up in pieces. And the same how they doing now, I finally peeped it. The same how they doing now, they was doing back then. So they was using it as clickbait. I ain't going to say the channel name. Uh, they... they they was doing little stuff trying to make it seem like it was more than what it was. And I fell victim to it just off of shock value off what the Scotty was saying. But when I look back at and, and got a full understanding of what he said, I had to take a step back and say, you know what? We good. We are good. I'm going to get on. I'm going to touch on a lot of stuff as much as I can, yo. So... Bashadi said, I don't think he should have been the person to break that barrier. He, meaning I don't think Deshaun Watson should have been the first to get something like that. That but he never said, I don't I, oh man, oh no, we're not doing that. He never said that, right? So that's number one. Number two. He praised Lamar how everybody else already been doing. Mark Andrews come out and say, oh, Lamar this, Lamar that, everybody hyping shit, Joe and shit. Like, it's not that serious, yo. We all knew this. Like, this nothing new. We all know this, yo. We all know this, yo. This ain't nothing new. Mark wasn't going to say nothing during the season because he probably felt like he was going to get in trouble and not get the targets. But he talked all that shit, but he wasn't sitting there advocating for... Look, look, he's open. He wasn't doing that. So I ain't trying to hear from Mark of, oh, the office, we need to pass the ball around. Duh, you been getting most of the targets. Duh. Fuck is you talking about, dog? But whatever. Never mind that. So Bishadi, uh pointed out that he appreciates Lamar. He knows the guys in the, in, in the locker room loves Lamar. But he also went, to, went on to uh, say that he doesn't control he he doesn't talk to Lamar often. 
So what goal he he I I didn't I didn't said I don't know if I said this in video, but Bashadi specifically uh gives lesser do gives the dude passes the duties on instead of being a boss. Like everybody got their own way, so I ain't trying. Don't take it like I'm, I'm throwing shade or nothing. But I'm just saying, his way of ruling is: I got the money, right? I'm gonna fund this, but I want to put people in place to do their job. In essence, by me doing that, I'm I'm trusting the fact that I'm hiring qualified individuals to do their job. So I'm so I can sit back. And have my time doing me. That's what Bishadi does. And between EDC and John comes the fuckery. Bishadi even went on to say in one of his past interviews that he even watches the YouTube films and highlights on players. Good and bad. Good and bad games and the highlights. And advocated for certain players, but sometimes he even be like, "Well, they don't they don't turn out well." But then again, you know, I'm I I can't play favoritism like that because these guys are dedicated, and this is what I'm paying them to do. So I can't overstep them like that. We don't have a Jerry Jones. We don't need a Jerry Jones. I I fuck with Jerry Jones to a degree, and how he how he be move how he be moving sometimes. Let my shit at home, but and how he be moving sometimes, but. It's just certain things I understand Bashadi and how he moves, so I don't get on him knowing this. So, hold up, y'all. Hold up, y'all. So, Knowing all that, right? In between EDC and John comes the fuckery. I don't know who gets more to blame. All I know is where we are, where we are right now. And talking about right now in comparison to what Bashadi said, he said out his own motherfucking mouth, it's possible Lamar could want to be, uh, ta say, Lamar could say, tag me, and then. I want to be tagged again, and then I, that way I got three years. That way I got three years to win a Super Bowl, and then I can say I'm top dog. I want sixty million a year. That's what Bashadi said. That's what Bashadi said, yo. And if that's Lamar game plan, that's Lamar game plan. We really don't need to be in his pockets. The only question we need to be asking is Lamar staying long term. But I'm, I done been told y'all he's going to remain a Raven. Don't nobody give a fuck what the fuck I got to say. Y'all sit there and watch these other channels and shit. I ain't going to call them out right now. But y'all sit there and watch these other channels. And y'all just want to, I don't know if y'all just want to be talked to. Like, like y'all kids or something. Like, but man, listen, man. People don't like the people don't like the truth, but I'd rather be realer than you. You feel me? No, what, what if you just say people don't like it when you tell the truth, but I'd rather be realer than you. Whatever the fuck you said, you feel me? And I'm telling y'all the, the fucking truth. Lamar gonna stay a motherfucking raven. Like I got been motherfucking saying, but shout out to Bashadi, uh, been knowing because he said I don't think Lamar is money hungry. I don't think he's money hungry when he said. Uh, Lamar doesn't, I don't think he's worthy. I think he took it as Lamar isn't, oh, well, let me grab the first thing that comes, the first offer that comes to me. I think that's, that's what he meant. I don't know. I'm not making no excuses. What's going on right now is whatever's going on between them. But I ain't tripping off what's going on with them because I know it's going to be a good outcome. I'm not worried about that, yo. There's no way in the world you're going to sit up here and tell me the same way how I called Roman getting fired. I, the same way I sat there and said Roman was gone by the end of the season. The same way I'm saying right now Lamar is going to be, re be remaining a Raven, yo. You feel me? There's no way in the world you got an owner who's basically saying, like, I'm not done with the game yet. But when I am done, I want to donate most of it. 
Not saying to the franchise, not saying a player. I'm just saying those are his exact words. I'm going to donate most of it. You feel me? So the franchise is worth almost fucking five billion. Literally. We gonna get the money. We gonna get the money back, y'all. We gonna get the money back. Dump that money into Lamar. It don't matter, yo. We could be fucked up for the next ten years. We could still draft every draft wide receiver and still be in contention because Lamar is that dynamic. Lamar is Mahomes. He will be the next Mahomes. We just need the right offensive coordinator. John is scared to tarnish his rep- his record and his reputation right now. So he has to ride the Lamar wave, whether he likes it or not. And all them people that was asking for Sean Payton, all them people that was asking for Sean Payton, I sat there and watched y'all sit there and say, oh, we would love Sean Payton. Sean Payton would bring much more offense to this. He would even elevate Lamar, all this type shit, and then came out and sat there and said what he said about Lamar, said he should play. But I ain't say nothing. I let y'all rock out. I let y'all rock out. I swear y'all know what y'all talking about because y'all don't. But whatever, man. And another thing, too. Luke Jones admitted on air he only been watching the Ravens for 17 years. Bro, I'm going to tell y'all right here, right now. I've been watching the Ravens for over 20 plus years. It's, it's not much you could tell me uh, about my team other than a, a, a random player. But overall, I've been called it that the defense was looking legendary. I've been said that. It's documented. I've been said that. While they was clowning, clowning Queen, clowning Odafe Owe, clowning them. I've been said this defense was legendary. They need to get with Peters too and, ED, and give me optimism that he's going to stay because EDC made a point to say his agent is one of the best in the game. So I hope Peters stay. But shots out to them, man. Front office. Y'all was y'all was fucking up with keeping Roman, but y'all did the right thing ultimately by getting rid of Roman. Uh, I'm not tripping off the situation right now with the contract with Lamar, uh, uh, Steve Bishotti. Uh, y'all, he don't involve himself with contracts like that. That's what he's paying people to do. Now, whether they do the right thing, that's another thing. But it, that's not the situation that's what's going on right now. You see how easy that is? If I just left y'all on that, y'all sit there and think, oh, well, oh, man, well, we ain't, ain't going to get done. No, you, you don't know. But I know. And I'm telling y'all, Lamar going to stay raving, man. Uh, other than that, <clears throat> I don't think there's much else I need to touch on. Uh, I just wanted to break that down for y'all, man. Steve Bishotti does not handle the contract that's on EDC, but we got the money to do it. Uh... But here's the element that don't nobody want to say. Who's to say Lamar ain't holding out and wanting to get tagged? Who in the F said Lamar said he wasn't playing under the tag? Find me the documentation where he said that. Find it, please. Because just as Bashadi said, how, he, it's possible he could easily say, I want to be tagged twice and then make 60 mil. Because I got three more years to win the Super Bowl. Without the contract, long term, you feel me? Let them spend that how they want to. I'm not gonna say a word. I'm not gonna say a word, cause real gangsters moving zi- silence. Like the G and Lasagna. Is that how good? I don't know. I don't know how that fucking bar go. I'm gonna be there. But yeah, man. Uh, Ravens flock, Ravens nation, man. Just had to rap with y'all real quick, man. Uh, Hope I ain't hold y'all too long, man. Shouts out to all my fans. Uh, uh, I said fans. Uh, Shouts out to all my subscribers. Uh, 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 whether you're subscribed or not. Uh, Shouts out to my uh, homies, my bros. Uh, Fresh Life. Abdi Hassan, man. Um, man, y'all be safe out here. Y'all protect y'all energy, man. It's going to be a little minute. Uh, y'all work with me because uh, a nigga be... I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. You feel me? I'll be out here grinding. You feel me? So y'all be out here. Uh, be safe, man. Protect your energy. Uh, I'm going to holler at y'all in the next one, man. I'm out, yo.